So once we have the process is designed, we'll have the plan design. What do we need for plan design? Before doing any design work, you have to see that what kind of equipment is needed and briefly we have to design it as for the requirement, the equipment sizing, equipment uh, what kind of material construction needed and what kind of equipment layout and uh, what kind of uh, P&ID design and uh, utilities and special safety requirements and spill containment. All these are the topics we are keep on talking and will be discussed further in the uh, review class today. So all these are part of the plan design. So somebody may ask why we are spending too much time on this page and this information. By that, we everything comes to a clear picture why we are studying all this and also it will give a clear understanding how to face in the exam. By that, you know what is a process design, how it comes and what to do, okay, right? So here, the block flow diagrams, that means uh, initially what we do is once you know the process from the pilot plan, basically we put on the paper, say that how this is going to work and just a square box, we put it there and write high level saying that what is going to happen one after another in the process, how to, we have to manage it, okay. So for example, so first uh, there is a um, step one, we have to do something, so that is a primary reactor, so the raw material feed and uh, what is the byproduct terming product gas comes off to make sure that they write it down what it is because they have to take care of this gas and then the product comes out and go to the distillation column and uh, how that uh, the distillation distilled product will be uh, compressor scrubbed and get a liquid and uh, get back onto the um, final product, okay. So that A to Z just we put and if you notice block plate diagram doesn't have the vent system, doesn't say anything the heating, cooling temperature limits or anything. A basic idea is it's starting here then going to this step and this step this Basically, it is telling that what is needs to be done in the block plot draw. So, what we know block plot diagram is the basically a thousand feet level. We will be talking about what exactly the process going to be a brief synopsis. Then it comes into the process flow diagram. The process flow diagram is little more advanced than the block flow diagram. It will have the piping and also it shows the major equipment. So this is the piping and also this is the equipment, how they are connected. And also they talk about what are the temperatures and what kind of um, short information about that equipment and what are the ranges and also if possible they show about some of the Utilities, if you see here, they are talking about heat exchanger and cooler gas separator. But this is only a process flow diagram, doesn't show how that all the utilities coming into the picture, okay? All other things won't show up. Basically, they show in a, with a equipment in place with some kind of uh, uh, process controls and some kind of instrumentation only for the reactors, okay. Then comes the next one is the piping and the instrumentation diagram that there they will have a clear information about the clear, in, uh, sorry, piping instrument, right? you'll have the, all the piping and also the specifications on the piping, how they have and also control mechanism, all that will be drawn on the paper and drawings and that is the one going to be a Bible for during the construction.